Orin, I, I really do love your office hours. I am so glad that you have these office hours. Uh, and I got a little favor that I need to ask you. Uh, you're familiar with the Acme Fitness app? I've heard about it, yeah. Um, well, uh, I've inherited it. And I need to get some new catalog capabilities. And here's what's going to happen. It's, it's going to be huge. I'm going to take it to the cloud. And all I need from you is some credentials. Whichever cloud you want me to go to, I just need that sweet, sweet API so that I can take this app to the cloud. You can trust me. Just give me some credentials for all the things, and I'll take care of it from there. That's why well, I'm here. That's great. First of all, I'm glad that you took over Acme Fitness app. It's a super critical business app, so I'm glad my favorite developer is taking care of it, right? But... Instead of going to the public cloud, I think I will give you access to our brand new internal platform on our private cloud, which we just announced on. And that tons of platform will allow you to get all the things you need from the public cloud, but it will be secured, curated, managed, and operated by everything I need. So let's let's start by I will give you tons of login. Yeah. That will let me just stop you right there. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I'm going to the cloud because I want to avoid all of the best practices and policies. It was, it was too much. So if you could just give me access to the cloud, uh, yeah. I'll take it from there. Well, you know what? I totally get it. So let's talk about experiences and then we will decide together. Okay. So the first thing is instead of giving you just credentials to the public cloud, you can just run tons of login from your own workstation and you will get access to the tons of platform. You will get the access based on your role. So and then you will need to decide which project and space you're working on, which space basically means the application. You're working on Acme Fitness application, so that's the space that you will use. And that's it. That's the only thing you need to log into the cloud. So yeah, now, now you're logged into the private cloud. What do you need else? But then I have to worry about all those best practices and policies. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go. I got to go fast. Yeah, so just... for that... Exactly for that, we have application accelerators. You don't need to think about everything that I've just mentioned. Don't think about policies. Don't think about governance. Everything is baked in in a template. The only thing you need is to consume the template and add your special sauce, like the things that you need to add for the application. Everything else is being taken care of by the template, so you can go fast. You don't need to think about it. I went so fast that everything is already working on my laptop. I've even built my own super optimized Docker files. So I'll just create my own registry and I will go to the cloud. So we have a saying that friends don't let friends build Docker files because Docker files are manual. And when you build something which is manual, you will always need to go back and change it if some, something is changed. And when you do the super uber Docker file, you also most of the time will nest it. So you will do Docker file from a Docker file from a Docker file. Instead of that, inside the Tanzu platform, you have the Tanzu build. Tanzu build process will automatically identify which language are you using. And based on that language, it will compile the code and create the container image with the latest and greatest dependencies. And it also gonna make sure that the same image will be consistent and secured along the time. So just use Tanzu build. You don't need to do any Docker files anymore. Okay, that, that's cool. You know, I, I can use uh, this image. You'll build me an image, that's cool. Uh, I'll use that image with all of my already done YAML that I created by hand. Yeah, I, I uh -huh. see that you really love doing things by hand in a manual way that you need to go back and change if you need to, but the platform will take care of that step as well. And it's not just gonna, gonna create those manifests, it will create those the, man, the manifest, it will add best practices and spring conventions because I know you're developing in spring, and alongside of that, it will also gonna create a Carvel package. So that package can then be lifecycle managed, just like the code. We can manage versions, we can promote the package, and we can do everything for a package instead of the code itself. It feels too far away for me. It feels too far away. If I'm gonna keep my status as a 1.5X developer, I'm gonna need fast feedback on these builds. That's why I like to have it close. I like YAML. I know, and that's why we will give you access to the Times of Platform Hub and the Times of Platform Hub will have all the builds that you've created on your space. You will obviously get access according to your roles and responsibilities, but you will be able to see the Acme Fitness build, including all the steps, the logs, and the vulnerabilities, which I think are related to some 
dependencies that you choose. Okay, and... okay, uh, yeah. So uh, the build, that's one less thing for me to worry about. I can take those images and with the public cloud API, I can create the databases that I need with ease in minutes. We don't have weeks or months here to wait for this ticket driven process that you probably want me to do to create databases that we need right now. I'm actually doing the company a favor by creating the databases myself. Did I mention that I need test stage and production environments? These, that means all my databases times three. Just give me the cloud API, give me some credentials and you don't even have to worry about it. You can trust me. I know I can trust you. And that's why I want you to open a ticket for a post, new Postgres, wait a couple of weeks. I will make sure it will go a couple of like approval points and then we will maybe create a Postgres. We don't have time, don't have time for all that. Yeah, obviously I'm just joking. Yes. I'm just joking. You can just run tons of service type list. You will have all the curated services that I've allowed you to have as part of the space. And then you can just choose your Postgres, do tons of service create Postgres. And it's easy as that. You will have a service of Postgres inside your space dedicated for you without any configuration because everything was pre-curated and pre-managed for you. That's it. Easy. That's a good looking list. But you know what I don't see? I don't see a secret store or a key manager in that list. So I'll just go create one of those in the cloud so that I can rotate my keys. I like to rotate my keys. First of all, I'm really glad you like to rotate your keys because security is a concern for us. But instead of you, a man, doing something in manual way, I think that the platform will do that better. And that's why we have Tanzu Service Bind. Tanzu Service Bind will allow you to just point the application, point the service. Don't think about drivers, users, credentials, secrets, ports, anything. The platform itself will make sure the application will have access to the uh, database. And along the time, you can then rotate and you can manage the secrets and everything in, inside the platform without any intervention for you. So easy, fast, clean. Tons of service binding sounds great, but you know, in the cloud, I can make sure that my test application isn't binding to my production environment. I put them into different environments. And I feel like this is still going to take hundreds of tickets to get done. The cloud API, can I just... Yeah. I mean, you will have to open a ticket for the networking team to create isolation. You will have to create a ticket for the DBA team to create databases. You will need to create a ticket probably for the security team to open the firewall rules. And yeah, it will take about a month or a month and a, and a half or so. But we don't have time. I'm joking again. I've mentioned that we have spaces constructed in our platform. Spaces will be pre-configured for you, including everything. Network, ingress, egress, security rules, firewall rules, auto-scaling, high availability. Everything is configured in the space. When you did that first, you remember that you did tons of space use Atli Fitness? That space is just for you. It's totally isolated for any other space from any other space. You have the access to it. When you want to deploy something or manage something, when you created the Postgres, it was in that specific space. So you can be sure there's going to be full uh, uh, isolation between different spaces, and you don't need to think about any other team except of just doing that tons of okay, space. Okay. Did I mention that I've already got a bunch of YAML? Like, yeah. like I don't have time to create a bunch of new pipelines for the spaces. I don't have time. I've got YAML. I can go to the cloud. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, you can use Jenkins and just create another 100 Jenkins pipelines for that, or you can just do tons of deploy. So you remember that you choose the space. The only thing you need to do now, because everything was created for you. In the build process, we've created the image, we've created the configuration file, and we've created the package. So time to deploy will make sure that those configuration files will now be deployed directly inside your space based on the space configuration. So again, you don't need to think about isolation or you don't need to think about access. You don't need to think about security. Just time to deploy and the application will be there. That's it. Okay, look, Orin, this app is going to have really, really high visibility, you know, to the higher ups. And I don't have time to figure out navigating between all the other orgs and apps just to figure out the status of each of the components. I need to focus on this one app. I need to be clear, focus on this app. This is the most important app right now for the entire company. Well, I know it's super important. I know Acme Fitness app is critical for the business. And if you haven't noticed, we wanted to give you a better experience. So we are allowing you to have your own way to get that health state. 
You just need to do Tanzu app list. It will show you all the applications that you deployed into the space. And if you do Tanzu app get for a specific application, you will get all the information like image, a, a health state of the pod, where the pod is running, what's the environment variables, what's the port that is exposed on, and everything else by yourself without any getting without without any ticket or phone call to anyone else. So you're good. That's impressive. That's impressive. Now, I know that you're not fa a big fan of command lines. I know you want something which is easier. I'm comfortable with command line. Okay, what that's good. This? But I think a UI will be better. So in the same time of platform hub where you saw the builds, you also gonna have a full topology map of the application, including all the connections between all the microservices, where it's running, what's the runtime, is it Cloud Foundry or is it Kubernetes? What's the microservices, how it's being exposed within Ingress controller? and everything inside one specific page, but not just that. You will have all the information on the application. So you will have performance matrix and string information and security and services and the logs of the application, including all the libraries, dependencies that you're using and all the properties that you, we get from the platform. You know what else we're gonna have? I mean, I'm still stuck on the topology of apps all the way down to the infrastructure, that was nice. Oh, uh, yeah. Security. Yeah. I, see, I see that. Uh, I, so, I, I inherited this app. I'll, I'll take care of these. Yeah, I, I know you will. But just in case, just for me, the platform itself will create for you a PR with a fix for dependencies, which is outdated. And because of them, there's a CVEs. And because we know Spring inside out, we know exactly everything around what should be fixed, what is the latest dependency that you should use, what is the best path to update and upgrade. And we will also gonna create for you that PR for the merge. And I saw that you didn't merge in the last couple of days because there's still vulnerabilities here. Yeah, you know, some of the other guys were talking about that and they said, you know, these PRs, it kind of felt like they were pair programming with the spring team, but look, or the holidays are coming. And I'm going to need to scale up to meet demand. Scale is really, really important. This is going to be huge. Yeah, I know. I mean, Christmas, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, there's a lot of different Mondays and Saturdays and Fridays to sell in. So I know we will need to sell a lot of bikes. And again, with the experience thing, we want to give you the option to be able to just scale if you need to, either for dev or stress test or load, or if you need to in production. But in dev, in, in your environment, you're probably going to do that manually with tons of scale. In production, what we have is a capability for auto-scaling. So when you having your holiday dinner in your home, you don't need to think about scaling your app because the auto-scaler will take care of that for you, just like everything else. And I know another thing. I know that because of that like holiday season, you also care about availability and resiliency, right? Do you yeah, care about... Yeah. So, you, so I have to go to the cloud, right? Yeah, I mean, you should go to the cloud and then use different availability zones and you will have like five nights. You get it, you totally yeah, get it. Yeah. But what you don't get is you can get exactly the same and even better in the Tanzo platform on the private cloud. The Tanzo platform has a replica, an application replica concept. That application replica means that the entire application can now be deployed on multiple clusters, on multiple availability targets, and it can be on different clusters in the same site or different sites, or even if I would think it's right, on a public cloud, even though we're not gonna do that, we're gonna land on the private cloud. But yeah, I mean, you can do, you can get the five nines with ease uh, between the scale of the instances and the scale of the replicas. You know, my plan would have got five nines too. Uh, but look, I'm gonna be honest, I'm impressed. You've actually covered everything that I need, except for one, I need Gen AI. I've gotta go to the public cloud because this app is now, powered with AI. And we're still trying to decide between three of the latest and greatest LLMs, but I need access to AI, so I have to go to the public cloud, right? I just updated the architecture. Now it needs to be powered with AI. I gotta go to the cloud. I just have one question. What is AI? Oh, well, yeah, I mean, I'm just so <laughs> And so listen. That's another thing you can be, we can solve inside the platform. Everything that you need for AI, which is the models that you need to use, either for chat or embeddings or anything else, you can consume that 
in the platform, on-prem, in the private cloud, with the Tanzu AI services and server. Now, just for you to understand, I'm not gonna buy any GPUs right now when I don't know if it's ready, if it's production, if it's working, what's the demand. Why do you do AI without GPUs? And even if I want to buy GPUs, I will need to wait a couple of months to get them. So you can start testing and dev on CPUs with models running on the Tanzu platform without even waiting for anything else. You can just consume the models and go. Now, moving forward, when we will get some GPUs, we will be able to then expose to you new models based on the GPUs. And we can also maybe open up some tokens to open AI so you can play around and see how it goes in the public cloud, but you don't have to. The Tanzu AI services will basically allow you to decide which models you want to use. And I can then restrict the amount of tokens, but that's a different thing for a different conversation. Either way, the experience wise, you will just have exactly like the Postgres. You do stand services type list. You will see AI server instance as part of those lists. You will create a Tanzu service, AI service, based on the specific model that you want. In this case, I will create that for you because I want to create everything with API keys and everything else. And you, the only thing you should do is Tanzu service bind. Bind the application into the model you need. If you need to, bind them into the two services, which represents the two models, chat and embeddings. You can use the Postgres, by the way, for vector DB. So easy as that, you have everything inside the platform on-prem in the private cloud. Well, would you look at that? It's all covered. The solution is right here. We've checked all the boxes working together, you and I. I have supported options that are easy to find and deploy. The Tanzu API gives me an app-centric approach for all the things that I care about as a developer. The operational parts are well integrated and work the way I expect them to. This is great. I've got a great solution and I'm excited to tell everyone about my great idea. Thank you for letting me use you as a sounding board. When this goes big, I'm going to make sure that you get a really nice email. <laughs> I appreciate it, Deshaun. As long as you choose right and you choose the Tanzu platform in a private cloud, I'm good with your idea. I think it's a brilliant idea, by the way. Thanks. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be big. I appreciate your time. Thanks. Thanks, John. Cheers.